Uh, this is uh, regarding ketamine. Does ketamine increase really the intracranial pressure, or it's a it's a it's a story uh, which is coming out from 1970s? Have you ever thought of it that is there a study where uh, they have measured the ketamine's uh, intracranial pressure rise relations while bolus or intramuscular or, uh, or doses, I mean even intravascular doses. Uh, what I am going to say now is uh, probably it is going to be a, a, a surprising stuff for many of you that ketamine does not increase ICP in most of the recent studies. So uh, what is happening? So although these studies are uh, there from ICU, those patients, those who are having intracranial bolt, the intraparenchymal uh, catheter for pressure monitoring, uh, they underwent all these uh, escalating doses of 1.5 to 5 milligram doses of ketamine. And uh, there, is a, uh, there is a meta-analysis involving 10 studies i think it is coven et al in 2014 five were rcts and five studies among them were prospective studies so uh, the results what i am going to tell you is amazing now out of those five studies uh, they did not find any mortality comparison to etomidate or ketamine, any, any, any mortality difference or morbidity difference or length of stay difference. And now the more surprising fact, the escalating doses of ketamine, 1.5 milligram bolus with, uh, with, uh, with uh, ketamine bolus, then 3 or 5 milligram bolus did not cause rise in two studies. Any uh, intracranial uh, uh, pressure which is meaningful. Now, tumor studies has clinically insignificant rise of intracranial pressure and two studies had decreased intracranial pressure. So think about it, no mortality uh, uh, difference, no ICP they have found in all this ICU patient. I'm not saying you go tomorrow and start giving all head injury patient ketamine. It is, it is better to look into the uh, uh, look into the literature and recent uh, past and coming future I mean so what you will have is that a, a strong idea probably this is the only induction agent uh, which has uh, uh, rise in SVR and maintaining blood pressure right now probably uh, the head injury patient has the worst uh, uh, worst uh, head injury patient has the worst outcome if they go into hypotension right so this is the only induction agent probably would have a mortality benefit of uh, 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 if it is not causing ICP, which was the worry. So based on anecdote, 1970 studies, uh, case report and case series, we still believe that ketamine causes ICP rise. Probably it is not true. So two of the studies have been attached to my, um, uh, uh, what do you call, the thread in that website. Please go through it. And let's see what you think. Thank you.